Hey guys, it's Jessica again back on another video. You guys seem to really enjoy just talking about your opinions and commenting below and I thought that was really good because you guys were being so respectful and so nice to each other and from what I saw there was no hate or anything that was actually really horrible or discriminatory. So I was really really happy that you guys were all able to share your opinions too. Obviously I'm just gonna say now, these are just my opinions. I'm sitting in my room alone eating noodles and I am a piece of shit, so obviously my opinions are my opinions, they should not be taken seriously, they are not facts, and obviously I want you guys to comment down below what you guys think. Okay, let's get on with it. I should not be pressured into liking an idol. My first example of this is Holland, he's an openly gay K-pop idol, which is amazing, and it's totally moving things forward in the K-pop world and I think that's so good that he's out and he's proud. However, I didn't like the song and I don't like his voice so I don't really think I should force myself into liking his music. I've, I'm sure he's probably an okay person but I'm going to be called a homophobe for not liking his music. Obviously I do what I can to support the LGBTQ plus community, you know I love drag race, I always support my friends who are gay or lesbian and that's the most I can do as like a straight girl but if I do not like this one guy's music who happens to be gay, I am a homophobe. Can you see where I'm coming from this? Another example of this was actually Amber. I know I'm going back to her, but I saw a lot of comments in my um, my last video saying, oh, I can't believe you don't like Amber. You know what? how much she's done for the K-pop community. She's changing beauty standards and she's doing this for LGBT community and stuff like that. And I'm like, cool, that was really nice of her. I still don't like her, bye. I think next time if someone asks me, oh my god, why don't you like Amber, I think I'm just gonna show you the clip of her rapping from Chocolate Love and I think that'll explain it all. You and I, in a picture that was so fly, sweet teas make me off a piece of that chocolate pie, bottom to top, you're so hot, in my eyes the perfect profile, There's something about that dark complexion that caused me feeling your style. <sighs> Please try and convince me that that rap didn't sound cringy. Thank you. Stop telling me to stan Luna. The more I see the words stan Luna all over my comments, the more I'm just gonna fucking ignore them and sleep on them. Literally, this better just not turn into a thing. Like, I'm seeing on, like, Exo's music videos comments saying stan Luna. Like, no, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna sleep on them if you keep telling me to stan Luna in inappropriate places. I wasn't surprised that Kyla got fat shamed. So Edward Avila got attacked and hated on for his video about Kyla and frankly I didn't watch it because I heard it was problematic but here's my side on it. There's no denying that she's beautiful and talented and amazing what she does. Is she fat? No. She is not fat at all. There's no denying that she has a larger build than her bandmates and that is facts, facts are facts. She is a larger girl but she is not unhealthy and she is not obese or any of these stupid fat jokes okay she is a she's got a perfectly healthy body i think a lot more western k-pop fans are so much more used to seeing beautiful girls with bigger bodies in the celebrity industry you know we have such beautiful girls we have like Nicki minaj she's a thick queen and stuff like that we have loads of like thick girls who are talented and amazing but if you look at korea there's not many of them and i'll show you some other idols who got fat shamed red velvet's wendy Red Velvet's Joy and twice as Jihyo. So after I showed you those three idols that got fat shamed, I'm going to compare it to Kyla's situation. Those three girls are arguably very skinny compared to Kyla and Kyla is a girl with a bigger frame. Is she fat? Of course not. Should she be fat shamed? No, she shouldn't. Are Korean and netizens beauty standards too hard to um, live up to and are too stupid? Yes. So taking into the account that Korean beauty standards are too stiff and annoying and stupid and taking into account that people like Wendy, Jiho and Joy got fat shamed even though they are skinny and beautiful and perfect. Was I surprised that Kyla was fat shamed? No. I hope you guys know where I'm coming from and understand my point here. I don't want to turn into the next Edward Avila. I love Kyla and I love Pristin, so just... Well, I love Pristin's music, so just let me live. Some fans need to stop putting down Western artists. Let me explain. Now, obviously not all fans do this, but I see that a lot of fans are very, very whipped to K-pop, which is obviously not a bad thing because, you know, I'm whipped. But I do appreciate Western artists and I love Western artists, but I always see that occasional fan that will 
hate on Western artists just because they're Western and there's just this big double standard that I want to address. So I was scrolling through a Reddit called Unpopular K-pop Opinions and there was a certain post that I thought perfectly summed up what I'm trying to say. So the user Jong Dares made a post saying, so CL is a queen but Nicki Minaj is trashy and she perfectly described how CL and Nicki Minaj have done very similar things but Nicki Minaj is called trashy and this and this and that and there is a big double standard and honestly it's just so ironic that people will hate on western artists so much but some of like K-pop's best songs were sampled by an American artist like Juliet by Shiny was originally by Corbin Blue for fuck's sake <laughs> I like As If It Was Your Last. It's a good song. With the exception of a few songs, I don't really like Mamamoo. I think they try to pander to an American audience where they try too hard to be a funny meme group. And I think the next time they try and go anywhere near the song Uptown Funk, they should take a note from Taeyeon's book on how to do it tastefully and respectfully. It bugs me when people say they hate cute concepts. I think people just have like this weird like idea of cute concepts where they're all in schoolgirl outfits doing AU or something and that's just like not the case. An example being Twice. All of Twice's music videos are all so cute. So I guess that makes them a cute concept. But that doesn't mean the music videos are the same or the songs are the same. Like TT was a Halloween theme. Ooh Ah was like some zombie apocalypse theme. And they still made it fucking cute, so I don't understand why people just hate on fucking cute concepts when they're not just the same thing. Say you hate schoolgirl concepts then, because I think that's the idea that people think cute concepts are. So stop fucking generalising. God. That is it for now, and I was actually wondering in the next video if you guys would be interested in me maybe like reading your comments and like talking about your comments, because I just love seeing like everyone like all talk of each other so nicely and respectively. It's just honestly like, oh my god, because like all of my subscribers are so nice to each other and respectful, like, oh my god, that is like the best thing ever to say that I have like such a cool group of subscribers who even though they don't agree, they can still be nice and respectful and I love that. So if you want to be in my next video of unpopular K-pop opinions, you guys version, I don't know what to call it yet, leave your unpopular opinion down below and I still want you guys to talk about it and discuss and stuff. And if you don't want your comment in the video, just put a little note underneath saying I'd rather not be in this video. Obviously before I finish this video, I'm obviously gonna ask you to subscribe to my channel and you know, follow me on Instagram and just again and again and again, I can't stress this enough. Just my opinion. I'm not relevant. None of us are relevant. Taeyeon is only relevant. Good night, folks.